Now let's move on to the software. Meshing. Its full name is Agisoft. It's called Meshing, and we're going to use this software to create a new 3D model of our enjoyment basket, and then we'll compare them together. With your permission, I'll just close this page completely. I'll open up the Metashape software first, so I can give you a brief explanation. I'm using the 30-day trial version of this software. Fortunately, the trial version is also open. You can use all of its features, but, well, uh, in Iran, you can easily download cracked versions and use them without any limitations. Well, as you know, this software you need to provide it with photos. In fact, its name is photogrammetry software. That means it extracts the orientation of the photos, it determines their coordinates, and then using that. It uses the coordinates uh, extracted from the photos to create a map. And these maps can actually be generated in 3D. In this software, when we scan a three-dimensional space or photograph a 3D object, the software uses the overlapping photos. Photos that, if I'm not mistaken, should have about 60% or more lateral overlap and about 80% longitudinal overlap so that the software can perform photogrammetry using them, extract the coordinates of the desired object, and then using those X, Y, Z or other coordinates, create its 3D model. Well, the input for this software is photos. It's photographs, but we recorded a video. We could have taken photos from different spots in this room, but filming is much easier. If we wanted to take photos, we set up the camera one by one press button. It take picture, meaning as many photos as we needed. We just press the camera shutter once, recorded a video of this room, and now we can extract a hundred photos from. It. But if we wanted to take photos, we would have had to press that button a hundred times and take pictures from all different parts of this room, which really isn't efficient in terms of the energy and time we'd have to spend. However, now that we've recorded the video, we need to go and extract the photos from it. So for now, I'll close this software and move on to another program that will let me uh, extract the photos from the video I recorded. Since my camera is an Insta, I open Insta Studio. Because first, the raw files I captured import them and stitch them together so that they form a single video. So this is the video I made. You can see it like this. You're watching it now. The video is a 360 degree video. I'm also in the frame myself. I'll go to the beginning of the video to see how much of it is off-topic footage. Fortunately, at the start, there's no off-topic footage. I'll check the end as well. At the end, well, as you can see from here on, it just repeats. So the part where I bring my hand in to press the shutter button to turn off the camera, from this point on, it's no longer useful to me. So I'll say, let's cut it up to here. I don't need the footage after this point. I'll just export this part. Although I could go into this software and increase the saturation of the colors a bit. Let's do some color grading, make the colors a bit more saturated so the scene looks nicer. Then I'll export it as a 360 degree video. I want it in pro resolution or its original resolution. The final file size will be about 11 gigabytes, which is quite significant. Starting the export will take some time. If you remember, we also did a time lapse of this scene. So I'll bring in the time lapse files as well to stage them together. This is my time-lapse file. Hop 
Of course, I don't want this very last frame, so I'll go back a little bit to see if this particular frame is enough. And then I'll export the entire time lapse as well. Let me increase the saturation of the time lapse a bit. All right, I'll export it as a 360 degree video with Pro Resolution. Fortunately, the size of each file is about 90 megabytes, close to one gigabyte. Start export, because first it exports the video, and then it starts processing the time lapse. It takes a bit of time. I'll start the tutorial, and after the processing is finished, I'll come back and continue the tutorial.